Hi, I'm Laurent Mazia from Netgear. Let me present the AV line switches. After a short introduction on AV over IP, I would like to introduce our line of switches that are designed for your AV over IP projects. And after this short overview, we'll jump and fire up one of those switches so that you can see how easy we want it to be for you to set up AV over IP in any type of installation. So what is AV over IP? This is very simple. This is the transport of your AV signals over an Ethernet network. On the left, you can find your video and audio sources that will be attached to a encoder or transmitter. So your AV signals are packetized and those Ethernet packets can go through a network. On the other side, you have your destinations, your loudspeakers, your displays. They will be attached to a decoder or receiver so that the AV signal can be back there. So there is a big opportunity to streamline your AV installations, especially if you look at the previous systems that were HD-based or other non-IP-based technologies, because you end up with a mess of switchers, extenders, and lots of other devices if you want to add KVM, multi-viewers, video walls, and so forth. In comparison, look at what you have here on a network at 1G or 10 gig Ethernet. You have signal extension, you have switching, you have everything you need, and this system will support low latency, real-time lossless video up to 4K60 with HDR if needed, as well as video walls, KVM, multi-viewers, and all that. Not that all this is modular, so you can add more encoders and decoders as needed at any time. And, well, needless to say, at the center of AV over IP, you have the Ethernet switch. And it got to work, right? Because if not, well, that's the entire AV over IP experience that can be ruined. So, there are many types of AV over IP. And I'm sure that you know everything already about audio over IP with AVB. And since then, you know Dante, AES67, and QSYS, which all work very reliably on 1G networks. But for video, there are maybe uh, different types of technology that you need to differentiate because you have two camps, the 1 gig compressed transport of video and you have the 10 gigabit Ethernet uncompressed way of transporting video. So there are several types of codecs used in these camps and they all have their strengths and weaknesses. Some of these you may have heard and some you may not because vendors very often they use their own proprietary name for those codecs and that's not an exhaustive list by the way. But the point is that all these platforms they require the use of a network switch and even one gig platforms they need the bandwidth of AV over IP switches with even 10 gigabit because it's simple math. Stream 10 1 gig streams and you're now in a 10 gig environment and need a high performance switch. Are you already using a 10 gig solution? Well, quickly you're up to 100 gig and luckily Netgear has switches to handle all that bandwidth. So Netgear is, as we speak, the most recommended brand by AV manufacturers. All these great AV manufacturers have certified, and it's a mutual certification, the Netgear switches. And this is really important because for us, we want this certification in order to make sure that your installation will be all right, that the hardware, the software is all ready to go, and that our AV system engineers can support you uh, during the design stage, but also during the installation and troubleshooting situations when any. Netgear offers a lot of switches that are, as we say, engineered for AV over IP under the AV line umbrella. 
So they come in a range of sizes for small to large installations. The 4250, the latest ones, are really dedicated to 1 gig AV over IP projects. And there are unique features you'll see, such as this new AV user interface that make these switches really stand out from the crowd. But we have the M43 and the M4500 series as well, which are probably higher end, more robust, proven for large system installations. Let's start with the all new AV line of M4250 switches. Literally, they were built from the ground up with input from the pro AV community, from you. And see how different the M4250s are from any other Netgear switch, right? In the front, you have a black display panel with status info, and that's it nothing else. We've turned the switch around so that you can rack mount it in a typical AV rack and it will look extremely good, unassuming. All cabling plus additional status is in the back, but reversed mounting is possible when you need the ports on the front of the rack. So another first for both the EV and IT industries on the switching side here with the 4250, this is the software controllable fans. And uh, well, let me click. You can see that just pushing a button, we can ask the switch to shut down the fans if you don't need the entire PeeWee budget. Of course, the default quiet mode is always, always trying to have the lowest noise uh, when you need the entire op PoE operation. If you have deployed some AV over IP systems already, you know that IGMP is not the easiest to set up and it doesn't always solve all of your problems. So at Netgear, we fixed it and we called it Netgear IGMP Plus. We did that initially with the 43 and the 4500 switches and we solved that difficult equation that any multi-switch installations using IGMP is flooding the multicast to the querier, to the center of the network. With IGMP Plus, we are not flooding the network. It means that only the clients that subscribe to a multicast stream somewhere in your network, they will get that multicast stream, but that's it. No flooding, no configuration, no more IGMP deficiencies. We have some very exciting news about new features for the AV line switches. The first one is called Auto Trunk, and then we'll see Auto Lag. So with Auto Trunk, we have a switch set up with here three typical VLANs. And the second, we simply connect a second switch. Those same VLANs will be communicating with each other. So there is no more configuration for the interconnect. Just connect your switches together and Auto Trunk is taking care of the VLAN propagation between the switches. Now we have a sister feature because, of course, if you need uh, several links in between switches, again, before configuration was needed, you know, to do stacking or to do link aggregation. So with Auto Lag, as soon as you plug more than one link between those Netgear switches, the link aggregation will be dynamically formed for you. So with IGMP Plus, for the automatic IGMP, with auto trunk for the automatic VLAN propagation, and with auto lag for the automatic trunking between switches, you are ready to go and you can focus on what is really important for your AV projects. That's the AV, not the Ethernet switching. So let's connect to a M4250 switch. On the welcome page at the switch IP address, we have the button to go to the standard IT GUI that we will find in all M4300 switches and all other switches. But see, with 4250, you have another way. This is called the AVUI. Let's log in. And here, this is really dedicated to the EV over IP installations. The Overview page is only providing some information on the switches. This is where we can shut down the fans to add that switch. 
you know, to be fanless. This one is a 24 port switch. Let's go to the point. What do we want to deploy today? Well, let's say that we have a job with two components. One is video distribution and the other one is going to be audio, right? And the way we are going to do it, we will just need to find the right predefined template that will correspond to your AV endpoints on that very switch. So for this example today, let's say that we want to do video with maybe NVX, AMX, NDI, ZV, Aurora, Kramer, Liberty AV, Dante Video, SDVOE. Okay, let's pick one. Let's say we want to do NDI video distribution. Let's select the video profile and tell the switch, you know, I'm going to do video distribution on the first eight ports because I have encoders and decoders to uh, install. So maybe those devices are going to be NDI's cameras. Let's tell the switch that we want to segregate the video traffic into a dedicated video VLAN, such as VLAN 10. And for convenience, you can maybe select a light blue color in order to uh, remember that these ports are for video. When you're done, just click save and all of a sudden your switch is now configured fully for video distribution and NDI on the first eight ports. Now let's go to the second part, the audio part of this job. And why wouldn't we say today that this is going to be EVB audio? Okay, so for EVB, there is only one little thing to know. You need to copy and paste the EVB license in order to fully enable EVB in the M4250 switch. That's done here. Go back to the network profile page, find the audio of IP for EVB profile, select it. And maybe this time we are going to say that, well, we are going to use the eight next ports on the switch to do and connect EVB endpoints. This is going to be my AVB. Maybe pick another VLAN. You know, it's good to segregate audio from a video. Pick the VLAN 2 on this one. Let's uh, maybe uh, go for a yellow uh, color. And that's it. You save this configuration and now the switch is running AVB with all the parameters that are now configured for you, ready to go. So, of course, we could go to the other interface. AVB, as you know, requires MVRP, MSRP, MRP, and a lot of uh, settings. Here, it's all canned, right? It's all predefined in the template for your ease. On the blue side of things with NDI, you may know that Bonjour MDNS Discovery is going to be used, can be unicast, can be multicast. In that case, you need to have the proper IGMP configuration. And well, again, this is all certified for you. You are ready to go with uh, NDI and uh, AVB on that very switch. So that's what I wanted to show to you. Thank you. All right, thank you for listening. You know, this is not the end. This is only the beginning. For any AV over IP project, please reach out to us. We will welcome you in the Pro AV Design Engineering Services team to help you select the right switch, the right topology, the right design for your AV over IP installation. So no hesitation, anytime, anywhere, please drop an email to proevdesign at netgear.com, proevdesign at netgear.com. See you there.